if you look at the in inventors of the Google algorithm, a couple of Russian Jews uh, with great math savvy, look at Steve Jobs. These are not people who are inherently political, and if they were political, they would tend towards the meritocracy, they would tend towards, you know, objective ideas, right, wrong, on, off, zeros and ones. Um, I mean, mathematics and physics, there's not a lot of room for postmodern, you know, there's, there's really no feminist answer to a math equation. How did tech companies go from being really the domain, I mean, I'm going to use some racial and, and gender language here, straight, white, male, and Asian male mathematicians to being the domain of feminists, transgender activists, um, anti-Islamophobia activists, how did it move so far away from its scientific meritocratic roots? So, yeah, as, as you said, Silicon Valley started off with, founded by these very sort of non-political, apolitical types, very science-y, nerdy types. Uh, and and uh, if they were political at all, their, their values were normally quite libertarian. If you look at the, uh, the values of early internet companies, uh, the ethos of early internet companies, even the, the World Wide Web itself, it's, it's a very libertarian idea. Everyone can have this, um, this platform to express themselves. And that's what Reddit promised initially, that's what Twitter promised initially, and then it, it changed over time, and partly due to pressure from these uh, these social justice warrior gender studies types who suddenly started infiltrating Silicon Valley and pushing for more censorship and more diversity quotas. Uh, and I think what happened was uh, essentially partly because Silicon Valley is so dominated by, uh, it's, it's a very male field, it's partly because technology is a very male field, it's what uh, male people uh, uh, in, enjoy doing, and it, it's, it's just a natural consequence of you know equality of opportunity and people following what they want to do. But partly because of that, the left was able to attack Silicon Valley for being this you know straight white male place, um, and uh, this this gave social justice warriors the, the far left a foothold. They were able to attack Silicon Valley, give them bad press when they didn't do what they wanted them to do. And uh, they were essentially able to intimidate a lot of these companies into taking a very uh, far left line on political issues. Yeah. Uh, it's also partly a geographical problem. Silicon Valley is based in the San Francisco Bay Area, possibly the most uh, liberal leftist area in the United States. So a lot of their uh, the people they're hiring come from come from the same uh, the same location. They come from places like Berkeley and Stanford, which are these very uh, left wing campuses. Uh, yeah. So that, that's another issue. I think if um, if these if these companies moved some of their operations to say you know the Midwest, then uh, some of the problems might be a little bit reduced. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.